A documentary on the historical student life at China's National Southwest Associated to the University will be released on Saturday. 16 renowned alumni share their stories in the film with advanced screenings getting positive reviews. Our reporter Yang Gen talked to the director Xu Bei about the work. A university born in war. In 1937, China's Peking University, Tsinghua University and Nankai University were temporarily merged and relocated campus to Kunming, Yunnan province. It took on the new name of the National Southwest Associated University, known as Lianda for short in Chinese. Sixteen alumni of Lianda told their stories in a documentary called One Day We Were Young, or Jiu Ling Ho. They are renowned talents, including Yang Zhenning, Wang Xiji, and Xu Yuanchong. With an average age of more than 90, they paint a vivid picture of their youth spent at the iconic institution in the history of Chinese education. We tell the story about a group of people, including Xu Yuanchong and Yang Zhenning, what was their state of being at the initial stage of the war of resistance against Japanese aggression. The war disrupted their original plan of study and greatly affected them. In fact, the most powerful link is the alumni of the school. In fact, I don't think it is particularly difficult to connect the stories of Southwest Associated University through individual characters. Although Lianda only operated for eight years in Kunming, it produced a large number of world-renowned talents, including two Nobel Prize winners, eight winners of the two Baum and one Star Merit Medals, and more than 170 academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering. Their achievements and consistent pursuit of knowledge touched the director, and she wants people, especially college students, to watch the film. I myself feel that I have learned a great deal from them. First of all, I'm impressed by their knowledge and spirit. I think it is the nourishment that the best university can give students, because I think the Southwest Associated University was a good project, where the East met the West. In addition, the way they treated people when you communicate with these scholars, you feel that they are very sincere and that they are full of good wills to others. And then there's the spirit of lifelong learning. And they all work and study well into their 90s and their 100s, and that's very rare. The documentary has toured over 20 universities. From this film, I realized that for young people to study, we should not be constrained by a very specialized field, but think more broadly about things related to the current social circumstances. Secondly, there is some stigma against the intellectuals and the idealism in our society. So people may always feel that intellectuals have no meaning in this era, or they are not as cool as internet celebrities. Maybe these films are calling for a return of this idealism to some extent. The film will hit cinema nationwide on Saturday. Yang Yan, CGTN, Beijing.